welcome back to the shed for a bit more pretend engineering. It's not real engineering, it's just pretend. Can't do much more in this shed. Can't swing a bloody car. So the problem with having tools all stuffed into boxes is that you can never get to the right tool for the job. You end up just picking the first thing that comes into your hand. If you're of an excitable disposition, I suggest you go and de-excite yourself because today's project is a hammer storage rack. <sighs> this corner of the shed that I can set this rack up, shift all these clamps, and I suppose I'll have to make a clamp storage rack. So I'm going to use angle iron. A couple of pieces of angle iron. We'll weld that together. I'm going to come off it with this 12mm square bar. So the angle iron is going to be uh, drilled with fixing holes. We can fix it to the wall. Coming off the angle iron, we we'll have pairs of tracks. By bending up the ends of the tracks using the mini forge, it should stop the hammers from wanting to walk off the sheds, rocking for whatever reason. The shed is a rocking. Don't come on. It's better because you they can see. Track pairs cut now. Belt grinder was loaded up with a uh, 40 grit belt. Just taking the edge off there. Wall fixing holes marked, drilled, and deburred. I've made two sets of tracks. One at 300 mil, and the other at 200 mil. Just made this simple bending jig. It's just two holes. You stick a bolt in, so you can load. You're tracking, it'll give you a fixed point of where you're going to bend up from. That's the bending jig, it's going to heat it up, load it into the other box section and bend it up onto the highly accurate bendometer there. Second bolt in for the shorter tracks. Tracks cut and bent. Set the tracks against the angle plate, use a piece of shim, it's the same thickness as your angle plate, so everything's nice and level. For the spacing, just using a bit of rectangular box section, just to space out the tracks for the bigger hammers. Smaller hammers, we'll use the smaller piece of box section. Wider tracks and two of the narrow tracks. 
going to be using this round tube to store the belts on, or hang the belts on. I think they're going to hang better in a bit of round tube rather than a rectangle. I'm going to be cutting the uh, tube at a slight angle so the belts don't want to fall off. I'm going to be cutting the tube at 200 mil length. No real weight going on these, so we don't have to hold a dozen donkeys. There's the finished article. Don't grind the belts, of course. Medium and fine. Various hammers. Just take out whatever hammers you want. And when you've had enough of hanging up hammers, it doubles up as the stylish Northern Blokes Nutrition Organiser. Oh, cupboards! Get with it, this is 2020. <laughs>